example of not being spiritually minded. Today, I'm going to present you with a two or three minute clip of how not being spiritually minded can go wrong. And I'm kind of lamb backing off of Elder Apostle Kabar. And the reason why I'm making this video is because every person you see who could quote unquote look like an Edomite or Caucasian or a so called white person could actually be an Israelite. Nonetheless, though, I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rabacha, Kodash. Double honor to the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Sing honors to the elect. Peace and blessings be to all the saints of men, women, and children that do consist of the one third. Shalom. I'm going to open up with two precepts. Romans 8, verse 5 through 6. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And to be carnally minded is death, meaning, um, like carrying firearms or wanting to fight, right? Or robbing and stealing over carnal things or also just looking at someone and depicting them to be from a certain um, nation, hence a heathen, they could be an Israelite, but you don't know. So what you're doing could also lead to your death, right? In Romans chapter 12, verse 18, if it be possible as much as life in you, Live peaceably with all men. And the reason why I brought that out to be live peaceably with all men, because this man was threatening these, I want to say novices that was preaching the word with death over his woman. But without further ado, here we go. Now you got five minutes to hear the words of the Lord. Good, bro. Two minutes, bro. Too good, too good to hear the words of the Lord. That good, brother. No, I heard about the word. What word you heard, sis? Come on now. I, hey, the Lord said thou shalt not lie, man. <laughs> <laughs> Our people love making stuff up, man. Hey, brother. Nice God. You got you to gotta separate from your enemy, though, brother. You're an Israelite. You got to separate from your enemies, man. Your enemy is a so-called white woman, brother. She might have accused you of whistling. Hey, she might have accused you of whistling back then, man. Yeah, you gonna kill you gonna kill your brother for the white woman, right? Yeah, you will. You gonna kill your brother for the white woman? Hey, brother. Now you holding up traffic. That's my wife, twenty-one years. Hey brother, do you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? And my wife. Hey, you believe in the Bible? Right now, I don't care about none of that. Hey, you know the Lord. You know the Lord said we got enemies, brother. I don't care about none of that. You know the Lord said we got enemies, brother. Hey, watch how you just that would be so to our enemies. You out here begging for somebody? You got it, brother. You got it. I swear. Hey brother, I ain't begging. You're for the Lord, bro. You're inviting the devil. You don't know the Lord, brother. That's why you saying that. You're inviting the devil. I promise you that. All right, brother. You mess with the right one, boy. You better watch how you talk about my wife. All right, brother. I'm gonna tell you right now. All right, you brother. talk out of white if you want to, right, but that's my wife, bro, and okay, I will brother. get out that car, brother. and I will do what I got to do. Brother. I don't care how many of y'all out here. Brother. Brother, I'm gonna let you know. Brother, we not we not dealing with that, bro. I don't give a we, we dealing, dealing with that, but I take it there. I brother. swear I will. You do, just keep it pushing, brother. It ain't hey, even man. that serious, bro. I don't want me to push me, bro. You right, brother. I don't, brother. I'll well, pray some more side, okay? You right, brother. You don't want these right, clowns watch your mouth. Hey, brothers, get back to the line, It ain't no sense in everybody laying down out here for nothing. You're no, right, I'm trying to tell you, bro. You're right. It ain't even worth it. Is your life worth talking shit to me while I drive by? Hey, look, brother. We're we not out here for that. Uh, well, that's what I'm on. So All I'm right, just bro. let you know. Watch how you talk to me and my wife, bro. Right, I, bro. I, I don't give a fuck who around. I don't care the police. None of that. If you disrespect me and mine, I will die for it. Out here in front of everybody. Right goddamn now today. I promise you, nigga. Watch how you talk about me and my wife when I pass by. Don't never in your life talk to me like that. I swear on everything I love. Do what you gotta do. Alright, brother. We don't wanna do nothing. We don't wanna do nothing. Peace I will goddamn, I'ma let you know Peace right out, now. Brother. Peace out, brother. Enjoy the Alba Fashion. Yeah, watch it out. 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 Watch it
right to the word, man. Bring that up. Go back to that. Go yeah, back to that. Uh, was go back to it. Bring it to Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. I don't know. Give me something. Give me uh bring it out. Brother. Enjoy the hover fast, man. Fast right to the word, man. Bring that out. Go back to that. Go yeah, back to that. Uh, go back to that. Uh, bring it out. Uh. Brother don't know. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. So, as you can see, that man was very defensive towards his woman. I would be too. And another thing too, you can't be carnal like that because when you look at the old, I think it was Disney, the old Disney sitcom Sister Sister, right? With Tia and Tamara Mori. Guess what? They look like Israelite women, but their father was an Edomite. Look at Lenny Kravitz. Yeah. Now, now, let me do you one even better. Do you, do you know how Bob Marley's father looked? Oh, you would think he's an Edomite, right? If you saw his father. But look at Bob Marley's spirit. You see? Can't be carnally minded. But nonetheless, listen to this. This is 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. But the Lord saith unto Samuel... Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature. Talking about King David when Samuel was born to the sons of Jesse. Because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. Listen here. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. And that was heavy because in St. John 4, it says, God is his spirit. And those that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. So you can't just look at someone at that outer appearance and be like, who, who the hell are you? Who is this guy? Right? Like John the Baptist, remember? He was wearing camel's hair. He was he was the one in the wilderness crying. But he was a he was a, he was Elijah, a major prophet. Understand? King David was a herdsman, became the king of all of Israel. Remember what the Lord said? The Lord said, Know ye not, I have chosen the poor of this world rich in faith. Yet, the poor man's wisdom is not heard or despised. But anyhow, listen here. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 1 through, 1 through 3. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual. I must add sincere meant to the title. But as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Mashiach. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. Even now they're not able. And Elder Pascobar said something. People see what the elders do, and they try to mimic it or replicate it. You're, those men are on a completely different plane. A whole other type of level of wisdom, yet they make it seem so simple to the righteous. But those men are very humble and they had to go through a lot of tribulations in order for them to obtain that. Because that's what wisdom does. She tries you. You can't just go out there and just talk to people any types of way. Because you, you could get dealt with like that. And luckily that man really, he really constrained himself because he really wanted to do something. You, you, you can't openly just disrespect the man and his and his woman like that. Even when Esau walked by with his wife and children. Hey, hey you, you have a nice dog. I like your, like your dog. Hey, you guys, you guys take care of having, I mean, you, you don't see when we out there camp, me and Shaw, so many little eat of my kids, when they walk by, they wave at us. I wave back. Hey, how you doing? They smile. I smile back. Right? Like Paul said, if it all, if it all possible, be at peace with all men. Okay? Anyhow, let's get back. First Corinthians 3 and 3. For ye are yet carnal, for whereas there is among you envying and strife. In divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? Remember what the Lord said? The Lord said, he said, he see if not of men see it. So you got to look how the Lord see. You got to be spiritual, right? <clears throat> now, 
a couple more precepts and I'm going to close out to go to show you that not every Israelite is going to look like John Shaw, Michael Jordan, or Seal. All right. James 1 and 1. James, a servant of God, Yahweh, in the Lord, Yahweh Shamashiach, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. We've been scattered. Think about it. I always say this. It's so simple. Just go on Google, type in transatlantic slave trade. Once the results come up, click on the images icon and look at all the images. It will show you a map pointing from the west coast of Africa to the four corners of the earth, people. So we will look like nations from the four corners of the earth, but our spirit is different. Prime example, man, I love b-boying. Y'all call it breakdance. I love b-boying, right? Who the hell you think those people are over there in Japan, in Korea, in China? They be busting. I mean, listen, there's nowhere in the world you can move at such a rhythm and then you break on the beat. That's what they call a breakdance. And you hear the break in the song and you and you do a certain move when the rhythm hits you. You can't make that up. Think about it. It's called biorhythm. It's something that's biological. You can't fake that. Right? So I'm thinking about so many right now. Hong Ten, Tasuki. Yo, man, stop it. We scatter. Now listen. Isaiah 11 and 11 through 12. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. Or his people. Israelites. So let's see where he's going to recover them all from. What shall be left from Assyria? Over the Middle East. From Egypt? Northeastern of, um, of Africa. And from Pathros? And from Cush? Cush, that's the southern part of Africa. You got a brother down in Tanzania. Shalom to that brother. Okay? And from Elam, that's East India. It's over a billion people in, in, in India right now. Come on. Oh, yeah, they also call what they call them the um the undesirables. There's a sector over there called the undesirables. Those are really our people because they're under the curses. And from Shinar, which goes back to like um where ancient Babylon used to be, if I'm not mistaken. And from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. That's all over. The islands of the sea. Verse 12, but he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. So we're all not going to look like so-called black people. I mean, dummy, I don't mean to say that to offend you, but if you are, you sound like, bruh, there are more northern kingdom tribes than Judah. Judah just a head tribe. And man, it's a lot of Issacharites, man, that have the complexion of an Edomite. But man, they got so much sazon seasoning. <laughs> so much salt. Come on, man. You can't tell me they're not Israelites, you know? But nonetheless, though, my last piece of it, I'm going to close out. This is another prime example to show you that we shall be looking like all nations under heaven. When you read Revelation the seventh chapter, it speaks about how there's a mixed multitude. But when you read that chapter, it said the Lord said not to hurt the sea or the earth that he gather his servants, which would be the twelve tribes of Israel. It'll be twelve thousand men out of each tribe. Twelve twelve thousand times twelve is hundred forty four thousand. Hence in mathematics and your times table, what number did they stop at? Twelve. So anyhow. Revelation 7, verse 9 through 10. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number. This is the one third right here. This is the one third. Of all nations and kindreds and people in tongues. It looked like everybody. And stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Listen to this. And cry with a loud voice saying, Salvation to our God which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. Who is our God? Who's saying that? Israel. Even the Lord said, I am your God and none else. Mm. So, be careful. Weary yourself 
of whom you could offend because you could be offending one of the little ones. Matthew 18 and 6, and I'm going to close out. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, I did say believe in me, nonetheless, you don't know if she could have been an Israelite or not. It were better for him that a millstone were hung, or sorry, were hanged about his neck, no Abbot took away, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Remember, every idle word that proceeded by the man's mouth that must give account for in that day. So with that being said, pray was at the five fed, stay in the spirit, don't fear it, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness, pray without ceasing, stay humble, remain diligent, or Allah, both of the ball, shalom.